What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Let me explain the title of today's video. So as you guys can see, it says that I'm selling my car yet again. That is not the case. However, that is what we're gonna make Janice think. So right now, Janice went to the mailbox. She's been waiting for some Amazon package to come in. It was supposed to come in like two days ago. So she's been checking like every day. Hasn't been there, so that's where she's at right now. So she should be back within like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes or so. When she comes back, she's gonna find me either mid phone call or I'm I might just make my ringtone go off and then answer it and make it look like I'm on a phone call. I don't know which one I wanna go with yet. I'm gonna make it sound like I'm talking to a potential buyer for my GT500. As you guys know, I just got that car not even a month ago. Janice knows I'm in love with the car. I have so many plans for it. So when she hears me on the phone with this potential buyer that I'm like trying to sell the car, she's gonna be like, whoa, what, what, what is going on? So I wouldn't say this is necessarily a prank. It's just more so to get her reaction. But if you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys comment down below, Team Isaiah all day, every day. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Sophomore in high school got really into that 70 show because people started saying I look like Mila Kunis. So guess who I liked? Ashton Kutcher. Yay! Yay! What were you going on? Yeah, I compared to Ashton Kutcher when I, uh, whatever. That's her yummy. Are you getting ready to be like it? Hmm? That's her yummy. Yep. You still didn't get your package? Oh, I'm irritated. Bro, it's been, it was supposed to get delivered like two days ago. You might as well just get a refund. I know, like, I, and I checked and it said it was delivered. That's the problem, that it didn't get delivered. And then they don't have, like, you know how usually they post, like, a picture? Did you check the big locker? Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. And you checked the regular locker? Mm-hmm. And, and then I, I tried to go to, like, the front desk place, but they were closed. Front desk? Yeah, you know how, like, they have, like, that thing where you go into the community, you go, and then there's people there, and you, like, ask them about your packages and whatnot? Oh. Damn, they're not even there, so. Damn, man, you didn't eat these mangoes in my mushy. Bro, we just got those like two days ago. They're mushy, I want one. I'm nice. actually, actually, I'm kind of full from breakfast. Hello? <gasps> hey, Greg, how you doing? Who's Greg? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still for sale, yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, man, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice car. It's definitely nice. I'm in love with it. Um, I literally just got it maybe like not even like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I had I had the BMW M3 before that. I traded it in for the GT500. But I don't know, the GT500 is just not what I thought it would be. So I'm just like ready to let it go. Yeah. Now, I could definitely give you like a walk around video if you want to see like more detailed, you know, angles of it or whatever. Um, the car just hit 10,000 miles. I just put a Borla Attack uh, cat back exhaust on it. It came with a JLT intake. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I, there's also spacers. Front and rear. Yeah, I didn't go too crazy on it. I mean, I had plans to, but being that like I didn't really like how the car is kind of just, you know, like fell out of love with it. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm ready for the, like a next project. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm not make, I'm not looking to make anything like crazy on it. Like as far as like profit, if you could just give me like what I paid for the exhaust on top of the price of the car, then like, I'm fine with that. Like as long as I break even and I don't take a loss, I'm cool with that. Yeah, for sure. What? Yeah, where are you located? Okay, that's like maybe that's like an hour away from us. So yeah, if you want to meet somewhere halfway, you can definitely like test drive the car. You know, let me know what you think. And if you know you like the car, we could go ahead and yeah, I'm free. We could do Saturday morning. Okay. Okay, you know yeah for sure. If any other questions or if you want any other pictures or something like that, just let me know. Give me a text. Um, I'll go ahead and take that video for you, the, the little walk around, then I'll send it to you. Sounds good, Greg. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Boy, you wanna explain to me what just went down? I listed my car on Facebook for sale. Why? I'm not really like, I don't know, I don't really want it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go take this video from this guy. No! You wanna sit down and think about it? It was, like, you didn't even talk to me about this. I was thinking about it last night and I listed it because I have a bunch of pictures on my of my car, so I just listed it on Facebook and the guy's willing to buy it. I told him if he could just give me what I paid for on the Facebook? Exhaust. Yes, babe. Why would you put your car on Facebook? Because it gets viewed by more people. But why didn't you like put it into like one of those car websites? 
because like, I don't want to deal with a dealer. I don't want to deal with a dealership. Then you got to deal with, they got to get their cut and all that. I'm doing private sale. I don't want to deal with nobody getting commission off of my car. Babe, all you gotta do is just list it. I'm not getting you to list my car. I don't think you've even had this car for a month. It's been. It has not been a, that like probably a, a month and a half. It's been a time. month and a week. Yeah, so a month, babe, and you're trying to get rid of your car already? I'm not. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. What? Is, how? Like you always constantly talking about all the stuff you want to get done to it already. Like how it's some seven hundred something that. horsepower. How fast it is. How much you fell in love okay, with it. How much you that. needed it, something new. I you got that. something new, and now you're not satisfied. Like you need that, to stop. Babe. I get that, but it's not what I thought it was. So I'm ready to sell it. He's willing to give me what I paid plus the mods that I did for it, and that's it. I'm breaking even. I'm not taking a loss. Babe, do you understand that you're in this constant cycle of getting tired of your cars? Like okay, nothing. if it's not taking a loss. What's the issue? The issue is that you have a problem, I think. It doesn't matter. If I'm not taking a loss, it's not a problem. Okay, I made so money. What are you I made a now? lot of money. I made a lot of money off the M3. Okay, that's great. I'm breaking I'm even. It. I'm breaking even on the Mustang. That's it. I'm gonna go to something else now. It is what it is. What are you gonna go to now? Because I don't clearly know. I don't know. Maybe a Porsche. I don't know. Oh a Porsche. You got you got money for the Porsche? Off the M3 and off the Mustang, I like, yeah. Yeah, but you understand that going from a Mustang, jumping right into a Porsche, like, you're not giving yourself no time to just enjoy it. Like, you're just I jumping right into a Porsche. I had it for a month and a week. A month and a week I had the car for. A month, babe? For real? You don't think that's enough time to experience a car? I, no, because you're just starting to learn about it. What you mean, learn about it? Babe, I, I thought you were obsessed with this car. You were, like, raging about, oh, my God, finally, you got bucket seats. <laughs> Okay. And like now you don't have bucket seats. You're not gonna have bucket seats no more. What? Are we done? I'm just saying. Like I think you're ridiculous. Getting rid of a car. Okay. What does it matter again if I'm not taking a loss? What is the problem? If I'm not losing money, what is the problem? Please tell me. Babe, it's not about losing money or none of that. I just okay, feel so like you're constantly jumping from one thing to another. You're All not right. Like, who cares? I care because you what all. Like, what is the problem? Because you're sitting here like, oh, I missed my M3. I and now you're like, that. yes, you did. You said it a couple times. I mean, I miss it yet. Do I want it back? No. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing with this one now. You're going to be like, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have given it more of a chance. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. Okay, and you may be right and you may be wrong. However, all I know is that I'm getting what I paid for it. And I'm ready, on, I'm ready to go to the next thing. It is what it is. And then what's, what's going to happen when you get rid of that one? Then you just gonna keep going and keep going. Yeah, that's the that's the life of being a car guy. You go to the next project and then the next project and the next project, and as long as you're not putting yourself in a financial hole, there's nothing wrong with that. Babe, but literally, like you just got this car. Okay. That's my issue. What what does it matter? If it's my car, why is it bothering you so much? You're acting like I'm selling your car after you just got it. It's what just does it matter? I don't know. Just do what you want, I guess. It's not my problem. I'm, go I'm gonna. I'm gonna go take the video now. I'm gonna sell it. I'm send it to the guy, and then if he wants to buy it on Saturday, I'm gonna sell it to him. Well, we I'm busy on Saturday, so. Yeah, you're busy. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make some money. Okay, so, go ahead. Make money. I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and make this video. Can you help me? No. Oh, now you want my help. You wanna get paid for it? Is that it? You don't give me no money from none of the money that you make from your cars. You put it right into the next one. So why do I have to help you? Bye. Do it by yourself. You can't take one video from me? No, I'm not contributing to this. You have an addiction and it needs to stop. What is the problem? If I have it's an like addiction and it's not a problem, what is the problem? It's a problem You have because... no reasoning behind this. Yes, I do. What's the problem? Well, how is it affecting us negatively? How is it affecting my pockets negatively? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why are you upset about this? Because I just don't get it. Like, you don't need to get you it. Go out of your You're not okay, a car guy. I don't want to get it, so okay, go. You're not a car guy. You're not a car guy. You will never get it. Okay, I don't want to get it, but I leave. Okay, can you help me take the No, see, the, I don't get it. You're like, you don't get it. You don't uh, get it. I don't I get it, you... so just do what you got to do and leave my me out. God. All I need you to do is just stand Take the video as I drive it out the garage. That's all I need you to do. I just want to get that one shot. Nar. Go ahead, throw stuff. I am, and I'm gonna buy a new phone with the money I make off my car. Oh, congratulations. And I'm not getting you anything. Oh, I'm gonna, cry, I'm gonna cry about it. Damn right you are. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, listen. Ready? Nana, shut up for a minute. Listen to this. Yup. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Tripod. I don't want to do all that. Leave me alone, please. Alright, I'm gonna have to set up the tripod. 
just came back inside she's nowhere to be found and you're still barking are you done or you want more attention thank you yeah bring your hot dog up making all that damn noise come on oh you want to leave the hot dog behind all right where is she hello so that's your video yeah i was thinking about getting a mini cooper next Bro, what is this? I'm not really selling my car. Are you crazy? I just got it. So, okay, I'm confused. <laughs> confused about what? Okay, so you're not selling it. So why is this camera on my face? Because I wanted to see what you would say and you absolutely flipped. I think you were a little extra, to be honest. How am I extra, bro? Because I know- Because you made it seem like it was a problem. I'm trying to figure out why are you so upset about this? You're so I'm triggered. Not, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, I know that it's going to be a problem. You're just going to keep getting new things over and over again. And then you're saying, okay, oh, and? I miss my Mustang. I don't know why I sold it. Are you done? I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect her to be this triggered. I don't know, I still don't understand why she's so triggered. I wasn't but, mad. I was no, just... you were triggered for some reason, I don't know why, because it's not like I'm losing money, it's not like it, I'm putting myself in any type of like negative hole at all. To be fair though, you didn't explain anything to me, so I don't I did. know what you're, after the fact. Okay. Okay. You got, you got something explained to you, so. Okay, so I don't care. If it's not making us lose money, then I really don't care. So why were you so tri- You know what? We're gonna have to talk about this off camera because I still don't understand her. I really don't. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. And anything else you want to say? No. Should I get a Mini Cooper for real though? Yeah, give me one. You got one. I want another one. You don't need another one. Oh, I don't need another one. You don't need another one. If it's not gonna hurt us financially, why should I not get another one? <laughs> This is why I can't show her like the tricks of the car world and how to do it. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.